The biggest mistake I see is jumping too quickly to the details. Instead, focus on making the big shapes and clarifying the light and shadow. For this drawing, I'm using some gray paper, some white and black charcoal pencils, vine charcoal, and a stick of compressed charcoal. First of all, if you can, try to put your still life right next to your drawing. This means you don't have to memorize what you saw as much because your drawing and the object are right next to each other. Then make sure you have a clear light and shadow. I use a box to limit the amount of light in the room, and then I use this little flexible clamp light to illuminate the object. It has a high and a low setting, as well as different light temperatures, so it's perfect. I'll leave a link in the description below. Learning how to reduce complex shapes into simple geometric forms is essential to get the proportion of your drawing planned out. It can take a while to get comfortable with drawing a big blocky shape instead of going straight to the curves and details you see in front of you, but it helps prevent a lot of erasing and heartache down the line. Keeping with the theme of simplicity, you need to divide your shading into a light half and a shadow half before you start adding half tones and highlights. If you don't start with and maintain this basic separation, your drawing will become over rendered which can make forms look distorted, overly chiseled, dirty, or squishy. Notice that with just simple light and shadow separation though, you instantly understand the volume of an object. This is what we really want. Now that you have a big form with the overall volume defined, don't just start drawing little lines and details over the top. Continue with the idea of working bigger to smaller shapes, and begin carving into your big shape to gradually make it more specific. Try not to hurry to the details or look too much at surface textures. Focus on the shape or form of the thing first. When you're adding shading to your base of light and shadow, really imagine you're a sculptor building large forms with your marks. Think about making a light area look round instead of thinking about the outlines of the different features on that form. If you can get a surface to look like it has depth, you can then use the same principles to add the small forms and only add details right at the very end. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and check out these other drawing videos if you want to learn more. And don't forget to check out my free sketching mini course. Link is in the description below. See you next time.